Hello folks, welcome back. This is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. This channel is dedicated to healthcare information as well as pharmacy stuff. So feel free to hit the subscribe button if this is something that you find interesting or useful. In this video, I'll be taking a look at an important issue, which as important as it is, in my opinion, it tends to be overlooked. That is the development of vitamin B12 deficiency in people that are taking metformin. Before we proceed, however, I just want to mention that this video is for informational purposes only and do not use it as a substitute for professional medical advice that you're receiving from your local physician. So I'm sure most of us are aware that metformin is one of the first line drugs used in the treatment or management of type 2 diabetes. While I will not be reviewing the medication metformin in this particular video, as I've already done so in one of my older videos, and I'll put a card right here and also a link at the end of this particular video so you can take a look at it if you want to. To set the stage for this video though, I'm just gonna make mention of a few highlights of that video so you can understand, you can fully appreciate this particular video. So despite the bad rap that metformin seems to get from within certain circles, it is actually quite a good medication for the management of diabetes. The side effects are generally mild Usually some stomach upset, which typically goes away uh, after the person has been on it for a couple of days. It happens to be the first line medication for the treatment or management of type 2 diabetes in a lot of instances. And it's sometimes even noted to make patients lose weight, which may be a very desirable uh, scenario in a lot of uh, cases. Despite all these good qualities, there seems to be one flaw, which is relatively very easily managed. But on the other hand, if attention is not paid to it, may be very detrimental to the person taking metformin. This negative effect, as you've already guessed, is metformin's ability to cause malabsorption of vitamin B12, ultimately leading to vitamin B12 deficiency in the person taking metformin. So several studies have demonstrated that people with type 2 diabetes typically have an increased incidence of vitamin B12 deficiency. Not surprisingly, metformin has been demonstrated to be responsible for this B12 deficiency. Generally, the older you are or the higher your dose of metformin, the greater this risk of developing B12 deficiency. So now the question is, why is this so important? Well, it is very important because vitamin B12 is an essential vitamin. This means that our bodies actually need it to function optimally. Optimal brain and cardiovascular function is dependent on an adequate supply of vitamin B12. So think of it this way, your brain, your heart, your blood vessels function optimally if there is adequate vitamin B12. That means that if there is a deficiency, it may lead to a whole host of issues, including memory loss, an increase in the risk for Alzheimer's disease, impaired concentration or mental function, degeneration of neurons in the brain and it may even lead to some kinds of anemia. All those coupled with the fact that diabetes itself is a risk factor for neurodegeneration. In other words, type 2 diabetes itself is a risk factor for the degeneration of neurons in the brain. So if you combine that with the fact that the medication that is supposed to be taking care of this diabetes is actually also aggravating this situation by preventing the optimal absorption of B12, which would have otherwise reversed that neurodegeneration. Then you see that we have a situation on our hands that needs to be taken very seriously. So then the question is, what can we do about it? Well, as gloomy and as dire as the situation may seem, the remedy is quite simple and straightforward. And by remedy, I don't mean you discontinue your metformin. Because as I stated earlier, there are so many good reasons to be taking metformin. And I have actually said that it is a good medication. So the remedy actually lies in taking a vitamin B12 supplement. My suggestion is to run this by your doctor. As long as he or she does not have any objections to you taking vitamin B12, then I would strongly recommend that anybody who has type 2 diabetes and is taking metformin should consider taking a vitamin B12 supplement in addition. Over here in the US, vitamin B12 is readily available over the counter. It is relatively inexpensive. However, the reason why I wanted you to run it by your doctor is that, you know, for some people, the levels may be so low that they may need to bring it up uh, relatively quickly. And this is usually achieved through injections or shots. 
With that said, if you are comfortable with just grabbing an over-the-counter product, uh, feel free to do so. Just go into your pharmacy and you can just buy it over-the-counter. Make sure to read the labels very well and follow the directions on the labels uh, exactly as it states. If you are watching this video from the US and you want to buy it online, I'll put a, uh, some links in the description for you to check out some products which I believe are good. So you see something as simple as taking a, a relatively inexpensive supplement can go a long way in preventing very serious issues that can happen along the line. Issues like dementia, Alzheimer's, memory loss. So I strongly encourage uh, people that take metformin to take this video quite seriously and discuss with your doctor like I suggested. If you don't take the medication and you know somebody who may find it helpful, please feel free to share this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much.